Warren and Paul and Felicia for their friendship and confidence in me. I also want to thank Bill Rowe and the party, in particular the party staff for their continued work and dedication. I want to thank everyone and especially our former statewides who ran. Um, it takes a lot of cojones to get up and run a campaign. Uh, I know that just from being a staffer, I, I couldn't do what you guys do and we all thank you for it. And I also want to thank everybody in this room and uh, folks here at Camelback High for allowing us to be here, but you in particular because you really are the face of the party. So I want to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to tell you my story in picture form um, because I think it's really going to tell you who I am so that you know who I am. I know a lot of you know me from campaigns and working at where I worked at the state party, but I kind of want you to know why democratic values are so essential to my life. I see, I grew up in a small town. That's me with the little fro. No. <laughs> I grew up in a very small town in Arizona called Superior. It was a real mining town in Pinellas County. My parents still live there. I will never forget where I come from because they will never let me allow, allow me to forget. I am, the th I am a middle child of three sisters, so I have a middle child complex. <laughs> um, but they really what instilled in me why I'm a Democrat, and why I continue to stay involved, despite the emotional roller coaster it is to be a Democrat in Arizona, is because my dad, he worked underground, he was a miner, but he was a union guy. So we knew when we had problems, we knew take care of it. Our copper belt, whether it be Berenci or Samuel, and in those communities, when something happened, we all took care of each other. And that's a democratic value. My mom was a very strong, uh, very strong Catholic, uh, very strong Catholic Latino family. So we're, you know, growing up pretty conservative. But what she wanted to do for her daughters was make sure that they kept their ability to make choices for their life. And this is a true story. When we became of age to date. And we didn't really want to talk about it with our parents. She put us in the car, drove us to the valley, and took us to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> but because she stressed, stressed the importance of education, she wanted to make sure that we could carve out, not only be, be independent women, but to carve our own paths in life. So I went to, coming from Superior High School, I went to Mesa Community College because I wasn't ready for the university yet. And so I went to MCC, and then I went to ASU, and that's when the involvement really happened. I was going to school to be a teacher, but I figured the best way to indoctrinate young minds was to be involved in politics, and that's what happened. I ended up being a very big uh, activist with the Young Democrats of ASU and the Young Democrats of Arizona. And I'm sure there's a bunch of Young Democrats from the U of A who will say that I, uh, I did my part, but I wanted to, you to know a little bit about me and to know why I'm running, I think it's important that we continue the fight. And we do that by district, by LD. And I'm, and I'm dedicated to doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs>